Hi Capricorn and welcome to your March 2023 read. All right, let's get started. This read is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. You guys really want to talk. Oh my gosh, the cards are flying. Let's go. Look. Oh my God, look. Let's take that. Hold on. All right. It's the five of pentacles. Feeling better about yourself. Trying to get more money. Try, hoping for a raise, a promotion, what have you. I'm putting it back. Let it come out. When, if, it's, if it's meant to be, it will. Okay, let's get three cards and start. The cards are flipping everywhere. Okay. The tower. Wow. The wheel of fortune and the nine of swords. So. The thing that you were worried about. Right. What you were worried about. What you've been having sleepless nights about. Trying to figure it out. Spirit. Communicating with you. If you would listen to your higher self, something out of the blue comes in and turns everything around in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune, there's a reason why they call it fortune. It's It ends up as the centerpiece of good luck. You know, what you were worried about is not anything to worry about, <laughs> right? Okay, I love it. Um, let me see if I'm getting anything else. Someone had to, someone had, someone had a fall from grace, if you will, right? Here's their crown and here's the fall, right? So a fall from grace, maybe something happened where there was, there was a situation where we had to get real. We had to become more transparent with what we, how we think, what we say, and who we say it to. Maybe that was, that's been the case for a minute, right? How do, how do I go about needing to help someone? Okay. Sometimes you can't help others. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Let's put these down and go to the the vice versa deck that I love, which is right here. Okay. And let's get started with that nine of swords. Okay, Cappies? Sleepless nights. What are you worried about? What's been missing? You're sad. You're missing someone. Cappy, some of you could be missing a loved one. You're missing them. They're missing you. Hmm. I'm going to take another card for, for this. Because I'm not sure who this could be. We have... The Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in to, to give you, look at the Nine Swords becomes the Ten. Yeah. And that's when that, ha and that's when someone exits. Someone exits. Someone leaves. When, where there was shades of gray, there's light of truth. You know, I mean, really, it's right here. And, and the higher self has been telling you the truth of, of the shades of gray that needed to be spoken, written, spoken word, the written word, communicating about someone who's left, right? Let's see. And that... Those who may have confused you, because I was actually 
thinking about this here. So the seven and the four is 11. That master number helped you to get through your worry, your concern. How should I approach this? I know I need to, to talk about it, to, to talk to someone, to tell the truth, to go for it because, it, and I know it's gonna hurt because it becomes a 10 of swords, right? And this is 11, 10, 11. This had to happen in order for this to happen. So with the truth being spoken, the shades of gray turn into opportunity. Whomever leaves, leaves knowing that there's other opportunities, right? Maybe this person and or you, Cappies, have other opportunities within within and or between the lines. I heard that. The opportunities came from the truth. Opportunities do come from truth, right? Don't they? Look at that. Oh my God, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You became Cappies. Some of you, well, you've been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a minute, right? We're not going to lie. But this is like, this is a lawyer, a mortgage broker, a boss, a, a father figure, a... Someone who you can, who is definitely very precise, very to the point, believes in all, that if you just speak up now and forever hold your peace, right? Things will happen. Things, when you speak your truth, this gray shade turns into blue, which is. Okay, so you're spiritually speaking your truth. Your higher self spiritually said, speak your truth. Or this person spoke their truth. And now opportunities abound. I wanted a little more on this situation because somebody had to spill the tea. I know it's crazy. But the cards came out that way. Okay, let's go to the wheel. Actually, you know what? Spirit says, wait, wait for the wheel because we really want to know who fell from grace, right? The tower, Capricorn, what? Ooh, a soulmate, a lover, another, another. Spirit intervened, and this person fell from grace. Could be the masculine, because obviously the masculine is falling. And what happened was the things that needed, things that needed to stop happening had to stop because the tower said, this has to stop. So is it a relationship? Is it a third party lover that left because of like they had other places to go, other opportunities? Did they mess it up? Did you know that they were going to mess it up? Right? The Four of Cups, don't forget, is someone was in the gray, you know, in in the shades of gray, meaning they were confused and not sure if they were going to stay or go. And spirit intervened and said, you got to go. So if this is someone leaving. That's exactly what happened. And spirit made that happen by someone telling the truth. Oh my God, look at that. Two towers. Holy crap. And now both, both are falling. 
from grace. So there's two, there's two people involved here. There are others involved. Spirit said, I'm taking control and these people have to go. The, the shenanigans that have been happening for a while with two people, it's not just one, it's two people. It's two people. And someone like spoke up, spoke out. Someone knew that this was happening, something happened, and two people had to fall from grace. It's not just one person, or two people knew about it, or know about it, or needed to be informed about it, but a fall from grace nonetheless. Two tower moments. So in the upcoming month, this truth, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or what have you, is definitely either the one speaking up and out or the one who is like in desperate need of in desperate need of help this is like what happened what happened and it's not just once it's twice there's going to be some obvious consequences for someone's actions. You know, this could easily also be regret, right? Regret for seven years, seven years, or a, the seven-year itch, right? Someone's been, like, juggling for seven years and gets caught. Okay. Could be a lover. Could be friends. Could be enemies. The truth shall set you free. The beautiful dove. Spirit's been watching always. Of course, we know. All right. And of course, you have spirit. Oh, my God. All right. So now let's go. Oh, my God. Now let's go to the wheel. The wheel of fortune, which the wheel of fortune just says things are going to change in due time. Other things have to be put in place. There's a lot of tweaking going on. There's a lot of tweaking going on when the wheel turns. Things are going to change. Um... You see the tornado. It's like a tornado here. So after like the dust settles, right, with a tornado, after the dust settles, we're able to manifest a new beginning. We're able to see the ultimate truth. We open our crown chakra to all the opportunities that spirit has for us. Lilies, something about lilies are important. Purple, obviously purple is Saint Germain, the Ascended Master. The light is being, right? The truth of this light, right? This. The truth of light of spirit has illuminated the situation. Yeah? It, and, of course, that happens. This, I feel, is the tree of life right here. So someone has gained a lot of growth and knowledge and has clearly um, is deserving of the, this beautiful purple-violet cloak which is St. Germain. Okay, St. Germain could have been part of the alchemy. St. Germain was the alchemist, or is the alchemist, sorry, I digress, is the alchemist of, right, changing the situation, knowing that people in the past, as you look back, right, as you look back, 
we 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 are changing you are changing cappies you're saying goodbye to your old self so your new self can be given all the goodness of life look at that It's interesting because I never noticed it before, but this is a statue. So don't look back or you'll turn to stone. Right? We're going to put that aside, but definitely don't bring with you any of the garbage because this is too beautiful. Okay, let's get more on the Wheel of Fortune. And the Magician reversed. Oh my God, look. Okay, so this is the two of cups in re or three of, sorry, three of cups, two of cups. What am I saying? Because I feel there was a third party. I do. I don't know why. I just do. For some of you, for some of you, that, that was a third party. Okay, let's continue. This means for it to be reversed, we're looking at the masculine is giving his right hand, which is giving love, and the feminine is receiving the love. So, and, and when you turn this around, it's vice versa. This is the masculine receiving and the feminine giving. That's what... I see in this depiction for this particular reading. Right now, I feel that the feminine is receiving the masculine's love. So, and you see the night. So in the night, the star shines bright for those who are with someone who definitely is giving you love is supporting your future, is your fortune, your future, your, I'm not talking about fortune as money. I'm talking fortunate. What, what you, what you're going to put out there, you are backed up not only by spirit, but by your significant other and I feel that something here went down literally right for that to happen a third party maybe came out the truth came out and set someone free someone had to fall from grace right but we can't carry that stuff with us we can only learn from the situations that we deal with right all right, let's keep going because this is beautiful right here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So I, I'm telling you, it could be th three people involved. It doesn't necessarily mean three love, like two lovers or a lover and a third party or a couple in a, with a third party. It is three people. And the truth came out about something that set someone free, and now that person is backed up by spirit, backed up by their spouse, and and getting ready to explore opportunities and such. And this sets you apart, Capricorn, from the rest. There's growth. There's love, being fortunate because of your strength of resolve. Receiving love from your spouse, love it, from the masculine. And looking forward to what these opportunities are going to be. So he's looking searching 
waiting, right? This is all fortunate right here. We find ourselves with the Hierophant reverse, and I'll tell you why. Because we make our own way in life. We don't necessarily not believe in the things that we grew up believing. Of course. We'll take a little piece of this information. We'll take a little piece of that information. And then we surmise our own where we don't necessarily follow a religious belief, but more a belief that we follow, the belief we follow is of course, spiritually inclined to know that God always provides when we do the right thing. And that we are also our own hierophant. We must be the ones to incorporate what it is that we believe and to take what, like I said, to take what we grew up with, to take with, with us what really speaks to our heart. But the things that don't speak to our heart is, you know, it falls by the wayside. Some of you, if this applies, you're with someone who you want to have a commitment. You're waiting for a commitment, a sacred vow. Let's see if that is the case for the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. What is the outcome for those wanting that commitment? Don't force it. Just saying, if you're single and this was a third party situation infringing upon your love situation, all right? If that happened or someone fell from grace, is very sorry, someone's really sorry for what they did. Love, lovers, friends, best friends, whatever, that's someone's really sorry. May not change the dynamic of the situation, but someone is very regretful. I feel someone is very regretful for their actions. Now, if it is a, a love situation where someone is waiting for that live in, move in, let's, let's manifest this commitment and see where it goes, I feel that you shouldn't pressure. Do not pressure anyone. Okay? Maybe the pressure's on, but I really feel that you shouldn't pressure anyone into making a commitment. Kundalini rising. Leveling up. So, for everyone, Capricorn, you and everyone involved in this fortunate series of fortunate events, you will rise. You have risen. You have, you have awakened your, all your chakras and leveled up. And now with, again, the same cloak, getting ready to make and work your magic. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I'm pulling cards so that you can see that the emphasis of your read is about a series of fortunate events coming for you, for all of the things that you have, sur the people you've surrounded yourself with, the truth of, the pe of others that you have interjected the fall from grace of others 
makes for you and for your life and I and I'm rearranging it's kind of like I'm putting my right I'm it's kind of like you're putting yourself back together again it's like you're feeling yourself again right you're back you're back and spirit has your back okay I'm going to take three more cards for Capricorns on this beautiful reading. There we go. So what's coming? Okay, so we remember in memory and remembrance of those who we've loved and lost. So if it if this is something where we're Okay, I'm going to say it. I didn't feel it, but now I do. I do. I feel this fall from grace could have been a suicide. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Um, I also feel that with those cups that seven of cups i feel that maybe someone was drinking too much and took a dare took a dare drinking and fell i'm so sorry you may hear of this in the month of march i don't know but i feel that someone took a dare and fell from grace and that's not for all. It's just for a very small percentage. Spirit has intervened, a father figure, and we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So here's the fortunate. A series of fortunate events from Grace. Grace intervened here. I'm telling you right now. Someone came in and said, someone came in and said to you, Capricorns, or it was a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who said, you know, here's what's, here's what my truth is. And here's what I, I speak my truth. And they've taken a fall. And like I said, it's not going to be for everyone. I don't feel that that's for everyone. I do feel that someone is going to be in, someone's going to be in remembrance of another because they're very regretful for what they did. And then through that regret comes the fortunate events and then the future, what the future holds is, of course, you know, the abundant prosperity that comes later after manifestation. Right, because this will end up turning like this, which will turn into someone is going to be the star of the show. The highlights of emotional balance. Higher wisdom the hawk leveling up higher consciousness, okay? But for now, the series of fortunate events comes after this fall from grace, however that means, to, however that resonates for you. Okay, let's go to the karma cards. Seriously, Capricorn, I feel you're really involved in something as a third party looking from the glass window. I don't know why I said that. From a glass window into the workings of someone falling from grace. Okay, Capricorn. And this one. Okay, let's look. 
So we have the sun card. Taurus is, of course, our the magic of the universe. And in Virgo, the sun in Taurus and Virgo, right? So what happens when we illuminate the truth, right? We illuminate the truth uh, after analyzing it and figuring it out and not worrying about how it's going to, how, when this truth comes out, when the truth comes out, you know, you've been analyzing and worrying about it, losing sleep over it. But when that, after that happens, then we gain the respect of, from others. It's about resources. It's about, it's about gaining respect and not necessarily from the productivity of working this is about someone telling the truth and another another's actions being being um illuminated right someone came out and said this is the truth and they gained respect result which results into right other people knowing that they can confide in you they can they they know that you know you have the wherewithal to be the person that's going to to change transform things alchemy right you the creation of life is through the alchemy of change which it is so things are brought to light hence to life the truth sets us free. We serve others by demonstrating how it, how and what it means to realize that you are the leader. And at what cost? Well, who, who cares at what cost? When you tell the truth and you serve others and you do what you have to do here, you become the leader. And that's the manifestation of a series of fortunate events. I love it. Exactly. Okay, so what a great read. Capricorn, great month, a lot going on. Let me know if you need me. I'm here. I send you many many blessings and so much love. Have a great month and I'm here for you. Take care.